Right, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, and verse 26. And the fear of Yahweh Shimei Shai is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of, retru of, of refuge. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh call Halayim La, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash, the bonus to the apostles of the great millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. All right, a lot of people think that, hey, we're, we're um, men of the Lord, you know. We are um, arrogant, all right? We're, um, we're, we got pride. You know, a lot of people would think the men in Great Millstone, we got pride, man. Hey, it's not pride. It's confidence. And, and it says strong confidence, man. All right? And that word, um, uh, I'm, I'm already at arrogance. So let me just read arrogance, then I'm going to get confident. All right, arrogance is a manifest feeling of support, uh, superiority, of one's worth or importance, all right, combined with contempt of others, all right, despise, man, hey, we are, well, ultimately, we're peaceful among all men, all right, but, when, hey, when we out there on the highways and byways, uh, uh, proclaiming the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, hey, we're just speaking the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, that's why we come out with the Bible in the first place, all right, because these are not our words, all right, the Lord said he's a, that um that Israel is above all these other nations. The Lord said that He's going to select one hundred and forty four thousand out of Israel to set on high above the rest. Man, all right, it's all about order. You got you got Yahweh, you got Yahweh Shai, you got um uh you got and you got the elect, man. Okay, all right, that's that's the order, man. And then you got uh two thirds, all right, the elect of the two thirds, all right. Because, hey, everybody has their own lot. It's already destined. Everybody have their own lot, man. All right? Uh, you got the 140. You got Yahweh. You got Yahweh Shai. You got the 144,000. You got the one-third. Then you got the two-third. All right? That, that, that's the order, man. All right? You know, so there's no arrogance. Hey, we just, uh, a lot of the men in Great Millstone, we just have that faith. And it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Zad that we are those elect men. All right, but of course we don't know, but we have that faith that we are, all right, because that's a part of having confidence, all right, because the word confidence means, that's why we got to look at words, man. It says assurance or belief in the goodwill. All right, it says firmly trusting, bold, okay? You know what I'm saying? Gotta, you got to know what you're talking about, man, all right, because... Um, it says in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, I believe, that, um, hold on. Yep. All right, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors, man. All right, so we're standing in great boldness. All right, against against uh against this world, man. All right, to sum it all up, all right, we, we stand in great boldness against this world, man. Against Esau, against our people. All right, we stand in great boldness, and because pe pe people they don't know our laborers, man. They don't know what we doing out here, man. You know they 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 don't they don't make no account of our laborers, man. All right, you know they 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 they, they think what we doing out here is um. Oh, is oh that ain't gonna happen to a thousands to a, a, a not in our lifetime, you know. But it's gonna happen in our lifetime. All right. And I want to get uh more on confidence. We gonna be going out tonight, man. Quentin. I'm gonna get more on confidence, and it. Salakia. Alright, it says uh it is better see Psalms chapter eighty or well, one eighteen and verse nine says it is better to trust in the Lord Yahweh than to put confidence <laughs> in princes. Alright, hey, it's better to cause hey if you, it says in Jeremiah that you trust in a man, yeah, you're cursed, man. So it's better 
to put your trust in the Lord than to have your, your confidence, your trust, your beliefs, uh, your boldness in men, man. All right. You know, you, you, you see that, man. All right. It says uh, Proverbs chapter three and verse 26. It says, for the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. All right. Hey, the Lord, he's our, he's what we trust in, man. All right. Hey, well, we, we speaking the Lord's word. All right. We, you in good hands, man. All right. Hey, and, and we have that. And uh, a lot of people think that we we, uh, we got that pride because uh, they they don't think that we have the hundred percent truth. <laughs> you know, hey, how foolish is that, man? All right, you know the Lord He gave us the unction to know all things, man. All right, not seventy five percent of the truth. All right, all things, man. First John chapter two verse twenty says, "But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things." I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth, man. All right, hey, we, we, so we stand in great boldness, man, because we, we we know through the uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Shemi Al Shai, all right, that we have a hundred percent truth, man. All right, everything is, we got, we know everything according to salvation, man. We know who these other nations are. We know what the mark of the beast is. All right, we, we know these prophecies, man. All right. And like the uh, like Apostle Tahar said, we we know more than our ancients, man. All right, we know more than what we knew back then, man, through the reincarnation, man. All right. Um, uh, I think it was a, a little bit more. I wanted to get on being um, confident. It says, um, yeah, Romans chapter two of verse nineteen. It says, it says, an art, an art. Uh, let me start at. Let me start at sixteen. Romans chapter two verse sixteen says, "In the day when Yahweh Shemuel Shai shall judge the secrets of men by Yahweh Shai Mashiach according to my gospel, behold, thou art called a Jew, and restest in the law, and makest thy boast of Yahweh, and knowest his will, and approvest the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law." And art confident that thou thyself are a guide of the blind, a light of them which are in darkness. All right. So we are to be confident that, hey, we, we're telling the the people that, that are lost and still in this world. We're telling them the truth of the scriptures, man. We are confident that we can uh, we can guide the blind, the spiritually blinded, man. OK. All right. And that we are a light in this world. We got to be confident. All right. It says an instructor of the foolish a teacher of beige, which has the form of knowledge and of truth in the law. Thou there, thou therefore, which teaches another, teaches thyself, teaches thou not thyself. Thou that preaches a man should not steal, doest thou steal? Okay, hey, well, even when we're teaching, as we're doing these videos, man, we're, we're teaching ourselves at the same time. All right, we, uh, we sometimes even cut our own selves, man. All right, and be like, damn, all right, I gotta, I gotta tighten up on that, you know, through our reading. All right, so we're always uh, sharpening up our, our own self, man. All right, and we're teaching the people at the same time, and we, and we are not to be hypocrites. All right, and um, let me just, I only want to look, go in the blue letter on, on uh, Proverbs fourteen and twenty six. Oh, so I can. Bear with me one second. All right, I got confidence in the blue letter. It says trust, confidence, refuge, act of confining, object of confidence, state of confidence, security. All right, is that trust, man, assurance. I right, hope, sure, trust. All right, of course we ought to be confident, man. All right. You know, it's a difference between being confident and arrogant and proud, man. 
All right, let me get a scripture on proud. All right, because it says, uh, because I think that's one of the things that the Lord hate, uh, says. Uh, lock you up. Bear with me one second. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one right there. All right, Proverbs 8 and 13. This is the spot, too. I'm going to get in the blue letter. It says, The fear of Yahweh Shem Yahshai is to hate evil, pride, and arrogance, and the evil way, and the for froward mouth do I hate. Okay? And let's, let's dig a little bit deeper in that. Um, what was it? 8 and 13. All right, the fear of the Lord, that's to hate evil, man. All right, you know, so hey, we'll be to, we'll be a hypocrite to to be proud, man. All right, pride and arrogancy. Pride means arrogant, and let's see what they got for arrogancy. It says, exaltation, majesty, pride, excellence, pride, arrogance, bad sense. Uh. Excellent, uh, majesty, proud, you know, hey, you, to be, um, exalting yourself to think that you're better than the next man, all right, hey, that, that, that's being proud, man, all right, hey, we don't view ourselves to be better than the next man, but we view ourselves as still at a high stature at the same time, man, all right, because we know, that hey, we we living on a, a, a different type of vibration, so we ought to just carry ourselves at, at a different vibration. It's, it's not in pride, you know. It's just we 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 know who we are. We we know who our power is. We know what we represent. You know, right? so we don't want to make our power look bad by us uh, steeping low. You know, having low self esteem about ourselves. We're supposed to be having ourselves at, at a high self esteem. Okay. You know, we not. We don't look down on others. And say, "Oh, you ain't shit." All right, wait. We try to pick. We try to build uh, other people up. And if they just being wicked, hey, we tell them righteous judgment, man. Hey, the Lord gonna kill you if you don't uh, get out of that homosexuality. Hey, the Lord gonna kill you if you um if you uh keep breaking the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. All right, hey, we we just we just speak via the scriptures, man. It's no, it's not arrogancy. It's not uh pride, man. It's just the truth and being confident in what we know, man. And right, we have that faith through Yahweh Hashem Yahshai that we are those hopeful, hopeful elect men. All right. You know, so I, I just wanted to touch on that. Uh, Lord willing, this video is edifying to elect brother or sister. I'm going to close out give all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai by Hashem Rakako Dash and double honors to the apostles that are the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect. To the next lesson, I say Shalom.